Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Cozy Corner. No, my plush pups, Cozy and Cammie, are not in this video. We're not doing an outfit of the week this week. Um, I wanted to modify their collars. We'll make some DIY collar charms for them. So that is what we're gonna do in this video. So I have the container that I put both of their collars in. I have to stop getting them collars because I have so many. So this is, of course, Cozy's collars. And I put them in the little sandwich boxes from Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still have this color, but they do have some still in store. I know there's a pretty gray one. And this is Cammie's collars. And they just snap open. I use these all around my house. So here are her collars. We'll get to those in a minute. And these are all the things that I use to make charms for them. So these charms I actually picked up at Walmart. I love them because they have the little bones and the puppy feet and some of them they'll have bling for Cami. This is one of my favorite ones. I recently picked these up for Cami because I did a lot of cozies collars. He has charms, but Cami doesn't, so I thought these were cute. I love the butterfly. Those are really, really cute. I picked these up, I think, around Christmas time. And these are actually buttons. So they're really sparkly and shimmery. I thought they would be cute for Christmas, nice and festive. And then I think at a pet store, I picked up some little cat bells. So I think these were like $1.99 a piece. So this is like a dark purple or magenta. And then I got these two green ones. I think at the time when I picked these up, it was close to St. Patrick's Day. So I picked two of these up, one for each of them, but I never used them. So I have those embellishments. Oh, these I picked up around Christmas time as well. Let me pull them out. So this is what they look like in the bag. So let me pull one of them out so you guys can see them better. They already, I'm not sure if they already came on the little hooks on the little lobster clasps. I can't get them out, hold on you guys. So they're little bows that you would put on, hold on, that you would put on a present. So that's the pretty blue one. Here's the green one, like a nice olive or grass green. And the last one is gold, so sparkly. Hope you guys can see that. And I'm not sure, like I said, if they came on the lobster clasps or if I put them on there. There you go. So they like that and I can just clip them on to one of their collars. So I have those. And here are the lobster clasps. I do get these at Walmart as well. And they do come in a variety of sizes. I like the small ones because my fur babies my plush pups are really, really tiny, so hopefully you guys can see the measurements. It's a glare, but they're really, really tiny. And these are called jump rings. They're just the rings that you can open real easily, and you can put these on the charm and the lobster clasp and connect them. And here are some more little bells. I think they came with these clasps. So that is what I use to make my DIY charms for my fur babies collars. So here is Cozy's collars. And a lot of his collars already have charms on them. Let me move all this stuff out the way. I am so ready to put these on Cammie's collars. So, so cute. So some of Cozy's collars already have embellishments. There's gonna be a lot of jingling, you guys. Like this one, these were actually some earrings that I saw at a thrift store and I saw the little puppy print. I was like, oh, those will be so cool as an embellishment. So that is something that you can use, like something from an earring. Here is his red one. Now these are all the collars. These shimmery, shiny ones are the ones that I got from Dollar Tree. And they are actually cat collars. But let me show you guys. This is, I think this is supposed to be for Cami. So I have one bone on a jump ring on a lobster clasp and one puppy foot 
on a jump ring with a lobster clasp and it has the the bell the little red bell came with it so I like the little noise it makes so I have a lot of those and something else that I use is little beads that I get from Dollar Tree let me see if I can get a good look for you guys little beads that I get from Dollar Tree and I just put them on a jump ring and just hook them on his collar like that so I thought these were really really cute again this is a cat collar from Dollar Tree so that's how it looks really really cute so you can just be creative and use different things to make charms for your puppies so this one has a bone and a puppy foot a paw print this is the collar he originally came with this velvet so I took it off and I was so happy that I did because now he has all of these collars so this is another one from Dollar Tree oh let me get it oh my goodness here we go so just a bone and a paw print because these were the only embellishments that I used at first so I really really like these I went back and bought this other pack so I can do Cozy's collars I'm sorry so I can do Cammy's collars this is one of the collars I bought at Walmart so I need to put some embellishments on it and this one is his name tag that I actually had engraved at PetSmart it was about $15 but I think that it is so perfect for him it's a nice little bone it has his name in it and it's really tiny so it fits his stature his little bitty self and I just put it on a jump ring I put it on a jump ring right there to a lobster clasp so I can put it on all his collars so I can just unhook it anytime I want to change out his collars and it has a little bell as well and this is the other earring. It's on this red collar. And this one, this sparkly one from Dollar Tree doesn't have anything on it. So those are his collars. A couple of them I still need to make charms for and embellish. So I hope I do not see any more cute collars because this is getting really full. So here is Cammie's collars. She has a lot of the same collars from Dollar Tree, but I also picked her up a lot of different collars from Walmart and I recently picked some up from Ross I believe so like this is a Dollar Tree cat collar I really like these they're really soft nylon so this one I did embellish with a little sparkle so so pretty and I like the cat collars because they come with bells I really like the little bells so these two are the recent collars that I picked up at Ross it was two in a pack for four dollars really really great price you guys I'm trying to be Doug the pug over here with my fur babies it is so funny this one I picked up at Dollar Tree I think last summer this one I'm sorry I picked this up at Walmart I think they're $2.99 or $3.99 for the small so I get the smallest ones this is one of the nylon ones from Dollar Tree and I think she wore this around Christmas time hold on you guys because it has some embellishments on it why is it acting funny I think my daughter was playing with these you guys I'm sorry here we go and it has the little Christmas gifts on it or the little Christmas bows so I think she wore this around Christmas time so I have the red one and the silver one because they were red, wearing red black and white around Christmas time hope you guys can see that really really cute and it came with a little black bell sparkly from Dollar Tree with a little bell this one was her Valentine's Day collar I love that bow and then it has red and white and pink hearts this one is so vibrant <laughs> yes oh my goodness so I need to find I think with this one I think I'm going to put this little flower on that yes that would look so so cute and she has an aqua one I picked this up from Walmart another pink one that I picked up from Walmart and she has a shiny red one 
from Dollar Tree. And her last one is like a magenta. And it has a purple bell, but I'm really liking this bell. So I'm gonna switch these bells out. That'll be so pretty. So I am going to start making some charms for my plush pups. And I'm gonna have so much fun. So I just wanted to show you guys what I use to make charms for my plush pups. You can go to a craft store or a hobby store and get different things to make charms. It doesn't necessarily have to be a charm because I think these are actually charms for bracelets, but I'm using them for my pet collar charms and I think they're gonna look so cute. I think I will come back and show you guys the charms that I made, but you've seen all the <laughs> supplies so it won't really be a shock to you. But here are all the things that I use to make charms for my puppies. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic Friday.